Did you really think that the final version of the Cybertruck would be exactly as presented during the reveal event? Well, think again, because the Cybertruck is still very much a work in progress, and we're going to share some Cybertruck updates. The Cybertruck is Tesla's disruptive electric entrant into the well-established light-duty truck category. The Cyberpunk-inspired pickup truck may be the easiest vehicle for amateur finger painters to draw. But don't be fooled by its brutalist exterior. Even though the polygonal pickup looks like it hasn't finished rendering yet, the pointy stainless steel box accelerates like a Lamborghini and tows like a Freightliner. Proof that the game runs faster when you lower the graphics settings on your PC. You probably know that the premium tri-motor Cybertruck will have an estimated output of 800 horsepower and 1,000 pound-feet of torque, enough muscle to propel the burly electric truck to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and tow up to 14,000 pounds. But we're not here to regurgitate all of Cybertruck's rumored specifications that have already been repeated. We've performed a technical deep dive into the specifications and story of the Cybertruck and uncovered some obscure facts that you might not have known, including some modifications to the truck's design no one ever saw coming. Really elucidate the engineering strategy that went into Tesla's Cybertruck and provide a glimpse into the complex mind of Elon Musk. Today, we'll unveil the 10 new facts of the Tesla Cybertruck. Welcome to Tech Archives. Door Handles Elon Musk says Cybertruck won't have handles. The CEO was asked to tease something about the updated version of the Tesla Cybertruck, and he responded to the tweet saying, there will be no handles. Needless to say, Musk's update has left numerous electric vehicle enthusiasts scratching their heads. The Cybertruck, after all, was unveiled with a set of self-presenting door handles similar to those used in the Model S. Musk practically highlighted this as much back in January when he noted that the Cybertruck's door handles will be flush to the steel of the vehicle. That update was received well, as flush door handles will likely make the vehicle look even more futuristic. With this in mind, it appears that Elon Musk's recent update may be referring to the Cybertruck's inner door handles, which passengers use to leave the vehicles. Such a system would not be too out of character for Tesla, considering the company's tendency to remove traditional components found in conventional cars. In a way, removing the Model S-style door handles on the Cybertruck may play in Tesla's favor, considering the Model S door handles rather tricky service history, and considering that the Cybertruck's door handles are considerably heavy. A system such as the one used in the Model X would make the vehicle far easier and more convenient to use. Interior Tesla already offers leather-free vegan seating surfaces on its vehicles and is turning to other sustainable resources to trim Cybertruck interiors. The dashboard is decorated with a long slab of something mimicking marble or granite, giving the interior a distinctive organic look. It's an element that attracted attention because it's in contrast with the raw industrial look of the vehicle's outer shell. Detractors think the utilitarian design of the Cybertruck looks ugly and unfinished, while supporters love the iconoclastic, multangular form. We only recall seeing actual stone trim on the ultra-high-end luxury cars, but it should be mentioned that the material is likely not authentic, given the electric vehicle's stringent weight targets. Plus, on trucks, any extraneous weight added is capacity subtracted from payload ratings and such. New Metal The Cybertruck's exterior is made from the same steel as SpaceX Starship Spaceship, the Starship is designed to be a fully reusable re-entry vehicle. That means it must withstand not just the red-hot temperatures of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, but also the cryogenic temperatures of space. Besides safety and the cool factor, this matters because you can surely expect that as Tesla finds further ways to mass-produce and reduce the cost of other materials, they'll surely incorporate them. Although SpaceX and Tesla are mutually exclusive, they can mutually benefit from certain technologies and processes especially as SpaceX doesn't file patents and Tesla's patents are public. Inspiration The Cybertruck was partially inspired by the Blade Runner universe. Elon Musk is also a gamer and said the Cybertruck is inspired by games like Halo, and it looks like a warthog. Musk said that the Cybertruck's design was distinctly influenced by two movies, Blade Runner and the James Bond movie The Spy Who Loved Me. Musk said that the Lotus E-Spirit, which played a prominent part in the Bond movie, was a big inspiration to him. He told Jalopnik, it was amazing as a little kid in South Africa to watch James Bond in The Spy Who Loved Me drive his Lotus E-Spirit off a pier, press a button, and have it transform into a submarine underwater. 
Drivers must rely on a digital mirror. To say that the Cybertruck's design is bulky is a serious understatement. The large side panels in the bed make it pretty difficult for drivers to see what's behind them and in their blind spots. To get around this problem, the Cybertruck comes equipped with a digital rear view system. The rear view mirror is actually a screen showing a live feed of what's behind the truck. It's notoriously tricky to introduce a technological alternative to the widely accepted solutions of conventional mirrors. Firstly, side view mirrors and rear view mirrors have been an integral feature of vehicle designs since the first motorized cars hit the street. Secondly, checking a rear view mirror was the first rule of the road many young drivers drilled into their heads. For some, their first memory as official drivers is this critical moment in the US driving test. Advanced safety features such as collision and pedestrian sensors and autopilot modes reduce the need for fixed reflective surfaces. Therefore, cars of the future will not require a rear view or side view mirror. Most importantly, how quickly will consumers and lawmakers adapt to this technological innovation? Capable of floating. When Elon was asked on Twitter if the Cybertruck could cross streams, the Tesla CEO proclaimed that the Cybertruck won't just be able to drive through water, but also be able to float. Because, quote, a Tesla works as a boat for a short period of time, as an electric car has no air intake or exhaust to block, and the battery and motor and electronics are water sealed. Submarines are just underwater EVs. This is the claim made by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, but it's not unique to just the Cybertruck. Musk has made a similar statement before in connection with the Model S, and we've even seen both the S and the Model X float. Sealing electric cars for water is quite easy, and most actually come from the factory ready to deal with water you may encounter on a flooded roadway. Typically, the limiting factor for waiting depths would be based upon whether the water would enter the cabin and perhaps reach a height that's high enough to damage electronics within. Presumably, the Cybertruck will begin to float before that happens though. Can be taken off-road. The truck has an adaptive air expansion, which gives it a ground clearance of about 16 inches. In theory, this should be enough to allow the truck to be taken off-road. Although Musk didn't say anything about breakover angle, which determines if the axle will hit the ground when it's going over a hill. The length of the trucks suggests it's relatively low, which will make it more difficult to use off-road. In his presentation, Musk claimed that the truck could survive the Baja 1000, which is an extreme off-road event that pushes vehicles to the limit. Whether it could actually do such a thing remains to be seen. Solar Roof Tesla has an energy division that supports EV vehicle charging as well as makes it possible for homeowners to save money on electricity by harnessing the sun's power. Tesla has promised to make a solar roof option for the Cybertruck. For the majority of people who park outside, whether it's at home or the office, it seems like a good way to make your car work for you while you're away. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla's new Cybertruck electric pickup truck will be offered with a solar roof option over the truck's bed that will be able to add 15 miles of range per day. Even more, you can buy solar wings that would generate 30 to 40 miles per day, which is the average miles per day in the US. Musk is talking about adding solar cells to the retractable roof over the bed of the Tesla Cybertruck. The CEO is also suggesting that deployable solar wings could also be added for even more solar power. Colors. One of the prominent features of the Tesla Cybertruck is its natural exposed steel. The lack of stamped body panels helps eliminate dents, small damage, and long-term corrosion, but it limits color options to wraps. At first, the CEO responded to a comment that it would be impossible to get Cybertruck in white oxide. Later, Musk directly confirmed that the Cybertruck's cold rolled steel body could be heated to get different colors. Here are some really cool colors you can get by heating steel. This chemical heating process will not harm the integrity of the steel, which could be a solid alternative to wraps. Even more interesting is the fact that you could use a laser to heat parts of the steel and create a tattoo of sorts. However, it is unclear if something like that would have to be done aftermarket or if Tesla could offer its own solution. Regardless of whether or not this makes it to market, the Cybertruck is going to create a great market of aftermarket mods and accessories. Modular Design and Truck Bed A truck is designed for utility purposes. That said, when it comes to daily activities, the truck bed isn't the greatest of designs. Sure, it's awesome for hauling lumber or an ATV, but try grocery shopping. The Cybertruck has a truck bed design that includes rivets and mounting points. That way, you can easily modularize the back for whatever purpose necessary quite easily and not have to worry about buying a truck bed first like other gas-powered truck models. 
A truck is nothing without its bed, and Tesla's Cybertruck has an awesome one. Tesla calls it the Vault, a corny move that nearly undoes the bed's inherent coolness. Anyway, the Cybertruck's bed is finished in the same stainless steel as the rest of the body, and measures 6.5 feet long. It suffers no intrusion from the wheel wells, so it's a clean, rectangular volume. Horizontal accessory rails are positioned beneath the diagonal sail panels, stretching from the tailgate to the roof peak, and Tesla promises that those panels will even boast their own storage compartments. Open the tailgate and you'll find a slide-out loading ramp that allows wheeled things to be rolled up into the bed. Both 120 and 220 volt charging outlets, as well as an air compressor, are built in too. The entire bed can be secured by an integrated roll-up garage door style tonneau cover, which also is said to help aerodynamic efficiency. Cybertruck's matching metal trunk closure, referred to as the vault, is said to be strong enough to stand on, and looks ready for the apocalypse. The electric tonneau cover is one of the more ingenious features of the truck. No gas-powered truck has this kind of auto-closing feature. Right now, the closest thing is on cars that have an autopilot open and closed truck. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more on Tesla and all things tech.